Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the uh, Caso A7000 Pro. It's the Pro version. Just got it today from Amazon. Cost about $75. We're gonna do a quick review. I'm not gonna be one of those people talking all day, so we're just gonna do um, a quick specs. So we're gonna open it up and check and see what comes with it inside. And I'll show some footage that I record and give a conclusion. All right, here's the unboxing. In all the other reviews, people don't really go through the accessories, and when I was trying to figure out what comes with it, I really couldn't figure it out. So what I want to do is show everything that comes in here in detail, or at least open everything. So I removed the two security seals that are on the size little tapes they put that are hard to get off. I used a knife. And there's the camera. Comes in a waterproof casing. Now the waterproof casing does have um, some bad reviews online, uh, like two or three people said it leaks. So I'm not going to take that chance and put it in my pool. I'm just going to, you know, I got it mainly so I could record outside. That's it right there. That's what it comes like. Okay. Now let's see what's inside. Oh, this one comes with a remote, so that's pretty cool. There's a remote. It's a little wireless remote, so you don't got to um, be touching the camera. That's why I got it, too, because I saw this remote thing. Oh, it works. You see, it has the, you can take photo and um, video. Can't forget the camera started. Comes a little band here. Put it on your arm for the remote. A few little clips. Get the camera on there. I'm gonna open everything. Let's see. There you go. Another. Well, I'm not gonna pull that one out, but see, looks like it's to connect to a tripod. Here's another one. Oh, this is nice. It comes with a... See, so yeah, you couldn't tell this on other videos. It's basically a... You clip it, you clamp it onto something. See, so the camera goes on here with a little attachment, and it has a little clip. Some joint attachments to... Get it at different angles you want. Now this camera, they say it uses um, some of the GoPro attachments and it does look like it. There's a lot of stuff. So it comes with two batteries, not just one. It comes with two batteries. comes with a battery charger, so you could, like a little dock to put it on. See, now this is what, um, you know, I'm new to these cameras. So this is what I couldn't see online. I had to do a lot of research just to figure it out because you can't see it good when you buy it off of Amazon. It's this piece right here. Because the audio, when you have the waterproof casing, the audio doesn't work. So I was wondering, like, how do you use it when there's no waterproof case like what holds it so you know duh this thing does so you put this around the camera and you put your attachments and this will holds it so that's what i'm going to use to put it on the dash and on the suction cup oh it came with velcro straps that's nice a packaging of velcro and zip they even give you zip ties just in case it's nice all right what else is in here it's like christmas this here's another casing. We'll figure out what that's for. Oh, now this one I want. You could use this for bikes or any type of tubing to put it on. It's really good. Mm. Some wire and st some sticky stuff. Just sticking on things, I'm guessing. The charging cable. 
looking for the batteries. And more sticky stuff. There's a little, um, you slide the camera on there and you stick them to things. It also comes with a wipe. So you can wipe down the lens and the camera because it is touch screen. And how to use and there's a coupon. And it comes a little booklet here because there's an app you download and it um, connects to your phone. That way you are able to see the video and access it and you can download it directly to your phone. That's one of the reasons I got it. Because the editing program I use is um, the new Adobe Premiere Rush and I like it because you can use it on all devices. So this um, camera connects directly to the phone and I'm able to import everything quickly to the program. So this here is a little base. And there's a way to get the camera out. There you go, got it. Okay, so what you do is, um, it's on the box. So all these little attachments, the way they work is little rubber piece or little plastic piece right here. These two little buttons, you push them in and the camera slides back. So you gotta do that. There you go, that's how you get the camera off. So there's the camera. I got the batteries charging now. I do want to mention you need your own micro SD card. It doesn't come with any. I got a 32 gigabyte here. Uh, it takes up to 64 gigabytes. Now we got to open this. This is how you open it. You open this little latch here. The camera is in there snug, so let's try to get it out. Pops right out. And that's it right there. Well, this is the camera. Um, the batteries actually come fully charged. I happened to take one because I couldn't wait. I put the micro SD card in there in the side. Here's the camera and it has a nice little touch screen. Makes a little noise. I was messing with the Wi-Fi trying to figure that out. And this is basically it. And what I like about it, it has um, image stabilization. That's what I love about it. That's one of the reasons I got it, because when I tried making a video with the iPhone, it kept shaking a lot. So with this here, I'm able to make videos that don't shake. And they come out pretty good. So now we're going to do some test footage to see how that comes out. I just mess with the remote. You push the remote and it records. And with this um, 32 gigabyte SD card, you get three hours. So I didn't know that that's pretty good. You get three hours of um, video. And there you go, you push the button and it stops recording. It also takes pictures. You push the picture button. And that's it. So it is. it does record in 4K. It does the HD at 1080p, 60 frames per second. There's the specs right there. And the camera is a 16 megapixel for photo at JPEG. So this is actually pretty good. Um, the way it works, I'm happy with it so far. I'm gonna go outside, make some videos, and I'm also gonna um, do some videos in the truck. That's what I got it for, to see how it actually works. Now I wanna take a look at these items I got. I got these separately. I mainly got it because I wanted the suction cup and the cheapest um, suction cup they had. I'm trying to save money because the camera's already $75. I don't have that much money. That's all I got it for was for this piece, a little suction cup. Then it also comes with um, all these few other little things here. 
on some more of these little pieces to attach it. You can put it on tripods and the suction cup. Let's open it up. And this was like $12 on Amazon, this extra little package I got. There's a simple suction cup to put it on the glass. And it has um, a little screw there to screw onto these other attachments that came with it. And it came with like a selfie stick. You attach it on there, a little screw right there. And it extends. How? I guess I'll figure it out. And this is like a, some type of little floaty, I guess, for the pool or, you know, for you using it in the water. Some quick footage of outside. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the water test. I put the little waterproof casing because everyone says it's not waterproof for a few reviews on Amazon. So we're gonna try it out, see if it leaks. I'm gonna put it in the water. dry with my towel just want to see if it any water got in there okay let's open it up want to make sure it's good let's see Looks to be completely dry. I don't see no water in there.
even in my car I gotta deal with it. It ain't just in the truck, it's just Texas, that's all it is. People can't drive. Yeah, I just want to mention the stability control with the setting on. You'll see the next footage is a short clip at nighttime when I was had the stability control on the first day. It's shaky. You'll see all that's with stability control on. You turn it to off and it's normal. All the rest of the video was recorded um, with the stability control off. Just to put that out there. Well, we're just getting started. I gotta do the free trip inspection. So we gotta do it. We gotta move the truck out of the way because I can't get to the back. Not seen it. We are gonna do a tug test just to make sure you know nothing's messed up with that field. everything good. Just want to give a quick conclusion. I give it about a three out of five stars. It does freeze a bit when you're trying to put the SD card in, you know, once in a while. The footage overnight isn't that great. You know, obviously it doesn't have night vision, but daytime footage is pretty good. The sound is kind of staticky when you have a, I notice when you plug in the charger so it could charge, you know, while you're using it. The sound is staticky. You hear it a lot. And you'll hear it in some of the, I'm pretty sure you heard it in some of the sample videos that I um, showed. That's what that was. Other than that, I love the remote. The remote's pretty good. It's my favorite part, actually, that you get to control it wirelessly on the watch on your arm, on your wrist. Other than that, if you like this video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe for more.